Hello and welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Well, my friends, today I'm pulling out the watercolor paints and I'm doing a simple little watercolor tomato. Would you like to join me? Let's begin. This is what I'll be using for today's painting. I'm going to be using Strathmore Watercolor Cold Press 140 pound paper. It's nine by 12 inches and I have it landscape. This is a good little watercolor paper for studies and practices and things like that. I also have some brushes here. I have my round brushes. I have a number four and number two and I have a number four liner brush. Not sure which ones I'm going to use but I will definitely leave a list in the description below of all the supplies that I ended up using. I've got watercolor pencils. These are optional. I'm going to use these to sketch. I have red and green. You could use a regular pencil or you can use coloring pencil or if you're really good you don't have to sketch first. <laughs> and I've got my pan paints here. The brand is pretty excellent. Got these off Amazon years ago and I'm going to stick with reds and greens, maybe a little orange, possibly some white, yellow and maybe black, I'm not sure, but I'll let you know as I go along which paints I'm choosing. Uh, what else do I have? I have water, I have uh, paper towels, and of course, I have Bob Ross playing cards. <laughs> Anytime I do a painting, I always bring out the Bob Ross cards because I want Bob Ross's words of wisdom. Let's see what Bob Ross wants us to know today before we start painting. <laughs> I can hear his voice when I'm reading these. Okay. Let's put a few little highlights in here just to make them little rascals just sparkle in the sun. <laughs> Let's put a few little highlights in here just to make them little rascals just sparkle in the sun. That's so nice. That's so Bob Ross. I love, I love hearing him. You know, Bob Ross has, um, or his, I guess his estate has a YouTube channel up and all of the joy of painting programs are on there you can watch them for free and there are documentaries there and there are so many other things there if you check out Bob Ross's uh, YouTube channel I'll, if I remember I'll put a link in the description below so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch out my tomato and this is just I didn't plan what I'm doing I'm kind of just doing it I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the bright lights but I'm just sketching out where I want the tomato top, the green of the tomato. With my green watercolor pencil. And then I'm taking my red watercolor pencil just to um, sketch out the actual tomato itself. See if I can actually draw a round tomato. Although I'm lucky because, you know, nothing in nature is perfect, so that gives me a, an excuse to say, oh, well, you know, nothing in nature is perfect, so I don't have a perfectly round circle. <laughs> All right, so I've sketched that out. I'm going to right away just draw a few little areas that I want to remember to keep white for now. Just a few little highlighted areas on the tomato itself. I was looking at tomatoes all day today, making pizza sauce and salsa, lots of fun. <laughs> all right, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my red. So I'm gonna take my smallest, smallest brush, that's my number two round, and I have to pick a color. And I have a cadmium red that's very close to an orange red. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just wet and wet technique I'm putting water in some areas of the tomato where I want the paint to flow into so I'm going into that cadmium red which is an orangey red here and I'm just adding the cadmium red into where the water was and that paint will follow the water and it's not going to go outside of where I put the water. That's the great thing about wet and wet technique. You might hear my hound dog Jack in the background snoring. He's having himself a little nap. 
All right, I'm doing the same thing in the other areas of the top of the tomato here. We're just starting off with that cadmium red. You could do wet on dry technique if you like. I like wet and wet. Putting some water here, all those areas. You okay, Jack? Oh, poor, poor fella. He has an irritated throat. He's okay now. He's my little hound dog. He's my soulmate. I call him my canine soulmate. Mm. Poor kid. He's not very healthy. All right, putting in some more water, just in the areas around where the green of the tomato will be. And you see how that paint just follows the water. It's not going into the green area. It's not going outside of the lines. It's just following exactly where I put the water. Love that. I've never painted a tomato before. <laughs> never. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing around the entire tomato here. I'm going to start, I'm still, I still have my number two brush. I'm going to do a little at a time. I'm taking my time, especially around where the green is. And then I'll probably take a larger brush and do the rest. into that cadmium red. I'm just dropping that paint into there. I'm going to be doing several layers, so hopefully this will turn out nice. Just trying to have some fun and relax today. Okay, that's looking good. Now what I'm going to do is take my larger number four brush and I'm doing the same thing, wet and wet, all over the tomato. And I don't mind if some of that red comes down here. I want to try to keep those areas where I drew the circles. I want to keep those white for now. I will put some orange maybe or some yellow or even some of the red around them. But for now, I want them white because I want them to be, eventually, I want them to be paler than the other color into the cadmium red and boop. So I'm just going to continue what I was doing. I don't necessarily need a clean brush for this because it's all red, right? I just have more water on my brush, that's all. Then I'll add more of the cadmium red. Follows the water. I just, I know I, I, maybe this simple of me, but I just get a kick out of it every time. <laughs> All right, adding more water to the bottom of the tomato. I always want to say tomato. I don't know why. I have a bit of a humor, humorous streak in me, and I always try to make people laugh. So, tomatoes or tomatoes. People say tomato, tomato.
All right. So let me work on the green area. I'm going back to my number two round brush and I'm working on the green because some of the areas here of the red are already dry. If it were wet, I would have waited because I don't want the red and green to blend into each other too much. I don't mind a little, but not a lot. I'm going to start with a lighter green. I think I'm going to start with, in my paint palette, it's called a tree green. I need some more paint there. It's a very light green. Let's add some more paint there. Because I will be adding some darker green too to certain areas of the uh, tomato green top. And I still have some of the tree green on my, my paintbrush here. But I'm going to add more. Oh, my stomach just gurgled. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. It's quite loud here. You're lucky today, my friends. You've got dogs snoring and you've got stomachs growling. <laughs> All sorts of interesting sounds. to the areas here of the uh, green stem or top or I just keep calling it a top I'll just keep doing that and I'll add more of the tree green in there see as one area is drying I can work on another one so I don't have to stop Just adding some more of that tree green. And there we go. Now, most of my tomato is, is pretty dry. So I'm gonna take my number four again. And now I'm working wet on dry. There's a little bit of wet here, but that's okay. I'm gonna go into what's called a cadmium orange. And I just want kind of a light wash of that over the entire tomato. Tomatoes come in all sorts of shades of red and orange and yellow. And of course we have the green tomatoes, right? I love making fried green tomatoes. And I also love that movie. I watched it recently. It's, it's a nice movie for, you know, empowerment. It's also, there's some history in there, you know, things that actually happened during the times of, I guess, after slavery, racism and all that awful stuff. But it's a great movie. All right. Now I'm just going to put, my green top is still wet, so I don't want to work on these areas here yet. But what I'm going to do is really, really put a light layer of the cadmium red into the areas that I wanted to keep white, okay? And as I'm going along, I'm wiping off my brush on a paper towel, and I'm going to pull some of that off because I don't want it to be completely covered. I want to keep those areas more or less um, not white, but lighter than the rest of the tomato. So I'm going to pull some of that off. But I want a little, like I said. I don't want it to look like there's circles there either, so I'm kind of blending around the area where I had my pencil. And I'll do the same with the others. 
I could probably just pull some of the, that color in. I don't have to add more. Just want to make sure the ends are the out the outline is blended so it doesn't look stark. You know what I mean? And there will be plenty of layers. <laughs> this is by far not over. pretty nice. I'm going to have to stop and let the rest dry before I apply another layer. All right, so my tomato is completely dry. I'm going to take my number two brush into the cadmium orange and I'm going to add a little bit of orange to the top here, to all of the areas in the top. I am going to wipe a little bit of that off because I don't want it to be a solid color I want it to be nice and transparent so that we see lots of layers of color under there just taking my dry brush and when I say dry it is wet but it's not soaking wet and I'm just pulling some of that color off all right I'm gonna work on the tomato itself again with the number four round brush. Now, I want to take a little bit of yellow. So I've got a very clean brush and I'm going into my lemon yellow. And I'm gonna do a complete layer of lemon yellow and I want it to be a wash. I don't want it to be um, a very solid color. I'm not adding any more color. I'm just pulling all of that yellow across the tomato. I almost said across the orange. <laughs> I want to have nice layering on this tomato. Just adding water, not adding any more color. There we go. Now my green is dry and the orange that I just put on the top here is dry. So I think what I'm going to do is with my number two round, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put some of that. I'm pulling some of that yellow and I'm going to put it here. Now I have to let that dry before I do anything else. My tomato is more or less dry. There are a few areas that could probably use a little more time, but I'm gonna work on the top of the tomato now. I'm going into a darker green, and what I'm using is a, it's called Hooker's Green, and I'm gonna add just some shading. I am totally winging this. I don't even have a reference photo in front of me. I'm just, having fun <laughs> trying to remember what my tomatoes look like when I grow them and when I get them from the uh, the farm I have a great area where I live there's um there are a lot there's a big tomato farm and I eat a lot of tomatoes I eat tomatoes every day and um, you know pasta sauce, pizza, salsa. I even can tomato juice and marinara sauce, tomato soups and things like that. And um, I cannot possibly grow enough tomatoes uh, to be able to preserve what I need for an entire year. So what I do is I go to the local farm and I place an order every year for a certain amount of tomatoes that I want. And last year I bought 300 pounds of tomatoes. Now <laughs> that's kind of crazy. If you think about 300 pounds, can you even imagine how much 300 pounds of tomatoes are? Well, how about I show you a picture? <laughs> I have another 
YouTube channel called Rain's Kitchen and Garden and on that channel I showed how I canned 300 pounds of tomatoes and right now I am about halfway through and I started I, I not started I canned those geez I don't remember what month it was but I'm sure it's on the, the video itself was it September and uh, yeah I, I'm halfway through and we are in Geez, I almost forgot what we're in. We're in April. My goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. No, we're not. We're in May. No, we're in April. I lose track of the months, my friends. I'm sorry about that. Because I don't work, you know, and so for me, it's not... I don't pay attention to time or to dates or anything like that. The only date that I pay real attention to is garbage day and recycling day <laughs> but for that I actually have to have my alarm set or else I will not remember that it's time to bring out the garbage and the recycling isn't that funny I guess when I stopped working I also stopped wearing a watch <laughs> I think my tomato is looking pretty good as it is but I am going to add a little bit of shadow uh, what should I choose for the shadow? I'm going to choose a dark red for now. It's called Madder Red. M-A-D-D-E-R. It's just a dark red and I'm going to definitely pull some paint off. I don't want it to be this dark. But I want a little shadow underneath. Actually, it's not too dark. It's pretty good. It's almost like a burgundy, isn't it? A little burgundy, a wine color. But I am going to fix that a little bit with some water. Just going to make the edges a little less harsh. And I'm going to pull some of that off. A little water, pulling some of that off. Because it's not casting such a huge shadow, you know? some of the color off. All right. What I'm going to do is to, I'm going to take some of that matter red, M-A-D-D-E-R, because I say matter, but it might sound like matter. And I'm putting some of the dark underneath the tomato. Now what I'm going to do is, let's see, I want to put a, a few dark areas on the tomato itself. So I'm going to go back into the cadmium red with a little more paint on my brush right now. And in some areas, I'm going to add a little bit of shading. And then I'll blend it all after. Just with some water, I'm going to blend. But I don't want to get any of the extra cadmium red into the, remember those areas that I kept white? I'm going to try not to get any of the dark into those areas there.
I'm just pulling a little bit off around those areas. Ooh, my Rottweiler Raven just snored. <laughs> I've never heard her snore before. I love my dogs. All right. Let's make sure that's nicely blended. Nice layers here. I really like this. I'm going to take a little darker red. I've got a, um, it's called a scarlet red. It's not as dark as this one here. It's a warm red, I believe. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have to count. I was counting because the scarlet red is this one, and it's the fifth, so I went one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering why I was making the counting sounds. It's still a nice warm red, but it's a lot, you know, it's a different sort of, it's more red than orange, let's say. Scarlet red. And again, I don't want to cover those areas that I purposely kept for highlighting. I don't mind putting a little wash over them because they will still dry lighter than the rest of the tomato. Back into the vermilion. I don't like this matter red. It's too different. You know what I mean? It's too pink. So I'm going to go into a what's called a carmine red, which is a little... No, that's pink too. Way too pink. Wipe that off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that scarlet red, the one that I just used, and I'm going to redo the shadow here so that it's not so pink because I don't, I don't like it. I, you know, the whole, um, the whole tomato is kind of orange. It's nice and warm. And I've got this sort of pinkish red that I really don't like. So let's see what this looks like. Worst case scenario, what I'll do is I'll cover it with, um, with my cadmium red, which I think is what's going to happen. Because already I'm not liking this at all. All right. I am going to wet my paper towel and try to pull off that color because I don't like it. I don't want to take any color off of the tomato itself. All right, I'm going to go into the cadmium red. And I'll be pulling most of that off. Just want a hint of a shadow, you know? Now what's happened here is because this is, you know, not the best quality, um, the paper, it's ripping a little because I used the paper towel to try to remove 
some of that other red color. But this is just a study, so I'm fine with that. And I'm going to not touch the shadow <laughs> again. All right, but what I am going to do is let this dry and then I'm going to work on the tomato top. So now I'm going to take some of that tree green again, the original green that I took, that nice light green, and I'm going to go over the entire top of the tomato. My tomato is just slightly wet, so I'm going to be careful not to smudge all that paint. I just want to have some nice layers of green in there. I don't know if I just uh, hit my camera or not. If I did, I'm sorry about that, my friends. Is it me or do you guys find painting very therapeutic? <laughs> Especially watercolor. I love it. It really makes me feel relaxed. It tells you something because whenever I pull out the paints, and I've said this before, you guys know I've said this before if you follow my channel, my pets fall asleep when I'm doing these videos. They just really fall asleep. All right. I'm really liking how this look this is looking. I'm, I'm going to take my number four brush and I'm just going to do a quick layer of orange. And really it's mostly water. I'm not adding any more paint. All I'm doing is adding water. Just water. And I'm just going to go in and pull a little bit off here and there. And I'm going to let that dry. While this is drying, I'm actually very happy with how this is looking and I don't think I'm going to do much more to it. I've got my little number two brush and I put a little bit of cadmium, uh, cadmium red and I'm just going to Fill in some areas where it looks like it might not be, you know, these areas here where it needs to be a little more round so it looks like the tomato isn't just sort of bits and pieces. If, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, but I don't know if everybody else does. There we go. A, little, a few little spots where it looked bare. Let's just call it that. There we go. Well, there you have it, my friends. There's our tomato. I just wanted to do a quick little painting today to have a little bit of art therapy and relax, and I think I accomplished that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave me a comment. I love your comments, and I do reply to them. So we'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Take care, my friends. Bye.